Господи Боже. In 1979, the gripping story of escape from Alcatraz leapt from the pages of J. Campbell Bruce's 1963 book to the silver screen, led by Clint Eastwood. The film's production, set on the notorious island prison, was made possible by Eastwood's ability to win over the decision makers, a group of influential women who held the keys to Alcatraz's cinematic portrayal. The production of the 1979 film Escape from Alcatraz faced initial skepticism from studios. Concerns were raised about the script's dialogue and character development, as well as the absence of a romantic subplot, which led to a hesitation to greenlight the project. Despite these challenges, the collaboration between director Don Siegel and actor Clint Eastwood under the banner of Malpaso Productions was instrumental in bringing the film to fruition. Their partnership, built on previous successful collaborations, allowed them to navigate the initial reluctance of studios and ultimately produce the film that tells the story of the infamous 1962 prison break from Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary. The film's focus on the meticulous planning and execution of the escape, rather than conventional Hollywood elements, set it apart and contributed to its lasting appeal. Siegel's direction and Eastwood's portrayal of Frank Morris, the mastermind behind the escape, resulted in a film that prioritized authenticity and tension over traditional storytelling tropes. The 1979 film Escape from Alcatraz faced significant location challenges during its production. The movie, which tells the story of an inmate's daring escape from the notorious island prison, was shot on location at the actual Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary. However, the site's state of disrepair presented numerous obstacles. The production team had to undertake a considerable restoration effort to make the decaying structure safe and suitable for filming. Additionally, the isolated nature of Alcatraz Island meant that there was no existing infrastructure to support the film crew's electrical needs. To overcome this, the crew laid down 15 miles of electrical cable across the San Francisco Bay to connect the island to the city's power grid. This feat ensured that the filmmakers had the necessary power to light and shoot the movie, capturing the authentic atmosphere of the historic prison. The logistical efforts to revitalize and electrify the location contributed significantly to the film's authentic and atmospheric portrayal of Alcatraz. In the 1979 film Escape from Alcatraz, the portrayal of prison conditions at Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary is a central element. The facility, known for its stringent security measures and harsh living environment, implemented an unusual feature for inmate showers. The showers provided unusually hot water, which was not a standard practice in other prisons. This specific measure was designed with a dual purpose to offer a semblance of comfort in the otherwise grim conditions, and more strategically, to prevent inmates from becoming accustomed to cold temperatures. The authorities believed that if prisoners were used to hot water, they would find the frigid waters of San Francisco Bay, which surrounds Alcatraz Island, intolerable. This would discourage them from attempting to escape by swimming to freedom, as the shock of the cold water could be debilitating or even lethal. The film highlights this aspect of prison life, underscoring the lengths to which Alcatraz went to ensure that its inmates remained confined within its walls. During the production of the 1979 film Escape from Alcatraz, the crew encountered significant weather-related challenges. The filming process was met with the task of simulating rain, which required a considerable amount of planning and execution to achieve the desired effect on screen. Additionally, the cast and crew had to work in cold temperatures. The absence of heating on set meant that everyone had to adapt to these conditions, often requiring them to wear extra layers of clothing to stay warm between takes. This dedication to authenticity extended to the actors' performances as they had to portray their characters under the same harsh conditions that the real inmates of Alcatraz would have faced. In the 1979 film Escape from Alcatraz, the portrayal of the raft construction is a key element in the escape narrative. 
The movie depicts the inmates cleverly fashioning a makeshift raft from raincoats, which they seal with heat to create an airtight vessel capable of floating in the treacherous waters surrounding Alcatraz Island. This depiction serves to highlight the ingenuity and resourcefulness of the prisoners. However, the actual escape involved a more complex and robust flotation device. The real escapees constructed a large flotation cushion meticulously assembled to ensure their survival as they navigated the cold and strong currents of San Francisco Bay. The film's choice to simplify the raft's construction to raincoats allows for a more streamlined and dramatic storytelling approach focusing on the tension and urgency of the escape rather than the intricate details of the raft building process. In the 1979 film Escape from Alcatraz, directed by Don Siegel, Clint Eastwood portrays Frank Morris, an inmate who famously orchestrated an escape from the notorious Alcatraz prison. While the film is based on true events, certain creative liberties were taken, particularly with the ages of the characters. Clint Eastwood was significantly older than Frank Morris at the time of the escape. Morris was 35 years old, while Eastwood was 49 during the filming. Additionally, the movie suggests a successful escape, leaving viewers with an ambiguous ending that hints at the possibility of the escapee's survival. However, the true outcome of the escape remains unknown, as the actual fate of the escapees was never conclusively determined. The film's portrayal of these events blends fact with fiction, creating a narrative that captures the essence of the daring escape while tailoring it for cinematic effect. In the 1979 film Escape from Alcatraz, the stunt performances stand out for their authenticity and the physical demands they placed on the actors. The film, which portrays the real-life escape attempt from the notorious Alcatraz prison, features scenes of perilous escapes executed by the actors themselves. This approach to stunts was not common at the time, as most productions would rely on professional stunt doubles to perform the more dangerous actions. However, in Escape from Alcatraz, the actors took on these challenging scenes, adding a layer of realism to the film. Their physical prowess was on full display as they navigated the treacherous waters and scaled walls contributing to the film's tense atmosphere and sense of urgency. The decision to forego stunt doubles also speaks to the dedication and skill of the cast, who trained extensively to portray their character's desperate bid for freedom convincingly. The result is a series of stunt sequences that are both thrilling and grounded in the reality of the character's experiences. The 1979 film Escape from Alcatraz depicts the story of Frank Morris and the Anglin brothers who orchestrated an escape from the notorious Alcatraz prison. The film portrays the meticulous planning and execution of their plan, which involved chiseling away at the walls of their cells, creating dummy heads to deceive guards, and constructing a raft from stolen raincoats. This escape attempt is one of the 14 recorded over the 29-year history of the prison, which saw a range of outcomes for the inmates involved. While some were caught or perished in the attempt, the fate of others, including Morris and the Anglins, remains unknown, leading to speculation that they may have successfully fled to freedom. The film captures the tension and desperation of the inmates, as well as the harsh conditions within Alcatraz that motivated their risky bid for liberty. During the production of the 1979 film Escape from Alcatraz, the filmmakers encountered significant challenges due to the high volume of tourists visiting Alcatraz Island. The presence of visitors often interfered with the shooting schedule, causing frequent interruptions and making it difficult to film scenes without modern-day tourists in the frame. To address this issue, the production team decided to conduct most of their filming during nighttime hours. This decision allowed them to work without the disruptions caused by the daytime tourist traffic, ensuring that the historical authenticity of the film's setting was preserved. Night shoots also contributed to the creation of a more controlled environment where the filmmakers could better manage lighting and other technical aspects of production, ultimately contributing to the film's atmospheric tension and authenticity. In the production of the 1979 film Escape from Alcatraz, director Don Siegel faced the challenge of securing permission to film on the actual Alcatraz Island, which required the approval of the Parks and Recreation Commission. 
Understanding the influence of star power in negotiations, Siegel strategically utilized Clint Eastwood's popularity and charm during discussions. Eastwood, known for his compelling screen presence and significant following, was instrumental in winning over the commission, which was predominantly female. Their favorable decision was a testament to the effectiveness of leveraging celebrity appeal in negotiation tactics, allowing the film crew to access the iconic location and authentically capture the essence of the infamous prison escape story. This approach not only facilitated the logistical aspects of filming, but also added a layer of genuine atmosphere to the movie, contributing to its success and lasting appeal. In the 1979 film Escape from Alcatraz, directed by Don Siegel, Clint Eastwood plays Frank Morris, a cunning inmate who orchestrates an escape from the notorious Alcatraz prison. The film's narrative builds up to a climactic and ambiguous ending that leaves viewers questioning the fate of the escapees. However, Clint Eastwood, who has a reputation for his clear-cut storytelling approach, expressed his preference for a less ambiguous ending. He advocated for additional scenes that would hint at a successful escape, providing a sense of closure and hope. This alteration would have shifted the film's tone, offering a definitive answer to the question of whether Morris and his fellow inmates managed to survive the treacherous waters of San Francisco Bay and attain freedom. Eastwood's perspective on the ending reflects his understanding of the audience's desire for a conclusive narrative, and his influence on the film highlights the collaborative nature of filmmaking where actors can shape the storytelling. Escape from Alcatraz is a film that explores the true story of inmates Frank Morris, Clarence Anglin, and John Anglin who attempted to escape from the maximum security prison on Alcatraz Island. Directed by Don Siegel, the movie is a study in determination and the human spirit's quest for freedom. The narrative closely follows the meticulous planning and execution of the escape plan, showcasing the prisoners' ingenuity in overcoming the physical and psychological barriers of their confinement. The film culminates in their daring escape attempt, leaving viewers to ponder the outcome. The director chooses not to provide a definitive answer to whether the escapees ultimately find freedom or meet their demise. Instead, the film concludes with an open-ended scenario, encouraging viewers to draw their own conclusions based on the evidence presented throughout the story. This approach to storytelling respects the intelligence of the audience, allowing them to engage with the narrative beyond the screen and consider the broader implications of the characters' actions and fates. Wolf, are you carrying? Wolf. Oh. 